We are at the Milwaukee Mile for the 12th race of Season 2 of the SCRL Lucas Oil Arca Racing Series. The 74 car of Riley Spurley Tube will be leading us to the green flag. And start beside him is the 88 Akaka Silver Paul. As to the starting lineup this time, points leader Greg Lee, he'll be starting around the back. He'll be starting in the 31st position. Right there. So, this is the very first time here in Arca Series history that we are racing at the Milwaukee Mile. And you know what? I had some requests. You know, we're bumping up the AI. 90 apparently is a bad one to put on. So, you know what we're going? We're going to go to 95. We're going to bump up the aggression just a little bit. Because I want to give you guys some green flag racing, but we can also have crashes and wrecks. Although, at Kentucky, we had 110%. And how many wrecks did we have? One. And it was a one-car incident. So... Yeah, but this is a short track. Well, I mean, it's a mile, but it's kind of a short. It's a speedway track. So, if you have it at 110, they'll slide up into each other and always wreck. And that's good to a degree, but you want to have some green flag race, and you want this to be a racing race. You don't want it to be a wreck fest of a race. That's what they turn on Talladega is for. But then again, those, rec those races weren't wreck fest either, so, yeah. Well... Anyway, here's the command for the 12th time here in Season 2. Drivers, start your engines! Riley's Pearly Tube in the 74 car had a good run at Kentucky. Trying to parlay that into back-to-back -to -back top 10 finishes. As you see the rest of the field... So we are making history here today, here at Milwaukee. First time ever we are racing at this track in ARCA Series history. The 12th race in Season 1 was at Chicagoland, so we already did Chicagoland. So we're changing up the schedule just a little bit to add more variety and stuff to you guys and girls. So, yeah. Full field here today at Milwaukee Mile. This is a day race. Raleigh Spilly Tube has been over one year since he has won a race in the ARCA Series. He won last at Atlanta in Season 1. Looking for hopefully a good run here today. Pace car is in. Pull them belts tight. We are racing 20 laps here at the Milwaukee Mile. Marcus Sanchi in the 22 trying to make a run for second. He completes the pass. Heading off into turn number one. Into turn number two, down the back stretch. Nick Kennedy trying to go for fourth in the 68 car. Led us to the green in the last race at Chicago Land. I mean, not Chicago, Kentucky. Had a good run there. Kikasilla Paul had a good run as well. And we complete the first lap under green conditions. Raleigh Spurley 2 leads his first lap, I believe, of the season. One down, 19 to go here at the Magic Mile, the Milwaukee Mile. Wait, is the Magic Mile New Hampshire or Milwaukee? I think it's New Hampshire. Front four, single file. Here comes the 90 car. Josh Barker trying to move up. Whoa, contact between the 19. Oh, he hits the wall. But he keeps on going. Jonathan, Jonathan King will not be very happy with Josh Barker for what he just did. As I was going to say on Josh Barker, the very first driver to ever win in the ARCA series. That was in Season 1 at Daytona. So... Josh will always be remembered as the first driver to win an ARCA-sanctioned race. Battle for the lead. Here comes Marcus Sanchi. So Sanchi is looking for redemption here today. Had a bad race, finishing 34th, I believe, at Kentucky. Takes the lead on lap three. Heading off to turn number one. Tack Silverpaw moving up and her Ford. So the front is a Dodge, Ford, Chevy, and a Ford. There's Jonathan King. Fell back to ninth spot with that bump from Josh Barker, so he lost four spots with that bump and run. 
Sebastian Torres trying to move up. He came oh so close to his first ARCA win, but got beat to the line by Tim Randolph. And the closest finish in ARCA Series history, that was the closest finish. Riley Spurley Tube just lost the third to Nick Kennedy. It's been almost a full year for Nick Kennedy as well since he has won a race. Marcus Inch is just pulling away, almost a full second lead over the 88 car of Keka Silver Paul. Sanchi has won a race. He won at Talladega earlier in the season, so Sanchi is looking to win twice here in Season 2. Sanchi, of course, was not able to be around in Season 1. Last place is the 66 car, Jesse Turner, once again struggling in the SCRL. He's one of those drivers that normally, when things go good for him, they go bad for him the rest of the season, and he has not had a good run yet. I mean, he's been competitive. He's just never had the luck that he has wanted. Actually, a lot of drivers. Alexander Rowe, Tony Newman. Newman is still a bridesmaid in this league. He's never won. Greg Lee, our points leader in the 26th spot. So, Greg Lee's just trying to salvage a respectable finish. Our legacy. The legacy family has not yet won an ARCA race. There he is, Zachary Fitzwater, our winner at ORP, a track that is similar to this. Not having the luck in his unsponsored 82 Ford that he has wanted today. 17th plot. That's not too bad. Brian Fox, the defending champion of this series, running in the 15th spot in the Aaron's Lucky Dog Chevrolet. 25, trying to move up. Kevin McHugh around the 20 car. As we go back up front, no challenge for Marcus Sanchi. He's just keeping a one-second distance between him and second place. And just having a, well, depending on what day you're watching this, a Sunday cruise. Or Monday or whatever day it is where you are. Of course, I don't, I can't record these live and put it up on YouTube. I don't have the funds to do that. Or the technology. I pre-record just in case. Sometimes I pre-record a race a week in advance in case it rains, storms, or whatever. I can't record during a thunderstorm. That'd be very bad. We're going to get the halfway mark next time by. And I believe this streak will be broken as Sebastian Torres is going to try, around, try and go around Eli Bright. This will be for the ninth spot. So Sebastian is uh, quietly picking up spots. Came oh so close one race ago at Kentucky. Coulda, shoulda, woulda won, but just could not get around. I mean, could not hold off Tim Randolph on the last turn. Jack Legacy is racing Kevin McHugh. Jack is the highest running Legacy family member. There's only two, well, that are in this league. There probably are more. I have no idea. Where is Randolph? Where is he? Where is Randolph? There he is. Back in the 39th spot. So, the biggest of highs to the lowest of lows for Tim Randolph. The lead is almost two seconds. I just noticed that. Sanchi, oh, new second place driver, Nick Kennedy. Now, can he close in on that two seconds? Well, he lost a couple of tenths right there. Seven laps to go next time by for Marcus Sanchi. And the streak will be over of a different winner. It'll end at 12. Okay, we are. I thought we were catching a lot of traffic. We are nowhere near traffic. Eden Shepard is now in last place. For those of you that were asking, uh, am I going to do last car for ARCA? No, I'm only going to do last car, or SCRL last car, for the Cup, Bush, and Truck of the NASCAR series, of course, because last car. Nick Kennedy has cut the distance 
three, ten, three hundredths of a second. But here comes Riley Spoley Jude trying to make things difficult for Nick Kennedy, which will help Marcus Sanchi. These drivers do not need to, need to be doing this because this is helping Sanchi. But Riley Spoley Jude thinks he has the best opportunity of getting around or catching Marcus Sanchi. Nick Kennedy back to third. Six laps to go. Be five and a half this time. So Riley Spoley Jude back to second place. Nick Kennedy trying to regain second spot. This is the most entertaining battle we got right now going on the, on the track for second. Nick Kennedy with a run. They were behind 1.67. They are now behind 1.7. They lost three hundredths of a second. And there's last place, Jesse Turner again. Marcus Sanchi just defending against Riley Spurley 2 for the next four laps. Spurley 2 pulls away a little bit. So we'll see if Spurley Tube has anything for Marcus Sanchi since he's pulled away from Nick Kennedy. Four laps to go. Lead is now 1.80. Yep, he lost a full hundredth of a second. So unless something major happens to Marcus Sanchi, Sanchi will get his second career ARCA sanctioned win. While we are waiting for the laps to wind down, if you would like to join the SCRL in racing against the very best this sim has to offer, all you have to do is look out for signups we have for our series, and you could participate in battle for a championship or multiple wins, like Marcus Sanchi is about to do. Of course, she can't sign up now because we have a full field in the ARCA and truck series, but you still can check out, watch, enjoy, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and... Maybe one day you can be competing for a championship and go in the history books. Yes, there is a history book of the SCRL. And be famous one day, maybe. As we're mostly single file for the most part. One lap to go next time by for Marcus Sanchi. A relative rookie still in this league, but he is trying to establish his name. And what a better way to do it by winning that one of the oldest tracks in North America. He already won at Talladega earlier in the season. White flag one lap to go. This race is official. No green white checkered. The lead is down to two seconds. So he gained 400 of a second that lap. He will not lead every lap. He will not be a dominator. But after a disappointing race at Kentucky where he lost the points lead, one race later, he comes back and dominates the race. And Sanchi will get redemption. Off the final turn, Marcus Sanchi scores career win number two in the ARCA series here at the Milwaukee Mile. Carry race results, Marcus Sanchi scores his second win of the season. Second is Riley Spurley, two, third, Nick Kennedy, fourth, Kekka Silverpaw, fifth, Josh Barker, sixth, Kevin McHugh, seventh, Eli Wright, eighth, Shuttle, ninth, Sebastian Torres, and tenth, Cam Nixie. Points leader Greg Lee finished in the 24th position. Rest of your race results, we had all 42 cars finish the race on the lead lap. Ben Croach unfortunately finished last in this race. Well, we will take you to victory lane for the second time here in Season 2 with Marcus Sanchi. Here are the points. Stand is at the 12th race of the season at the Milwaukee Mile. Sebastian Torres is the brand new points leader. He has a 25 point lead over Marcus Sanchi. Third is Jeff Bright, 40 points behind. Fourth, Greg Lee, 65 points behind. And fifth is Kevin McHugh, 140 points behind. 
Six is Alexander Rowe. Seventh, Nick Kennedy. Eighth, Zachary Fitzwater. Ninth, Tim Randolph. And tenth, Matthew Johnson. Eleventh is Tony Newman. Twelfth, Treadle. Thirteenth, Tackle Silverpaw. Fourteenth, Al Legacy. Fifteenth, Brian Fox. Sixteenth, Raleigh Spurley Tube. Seventeenth, Jonathan King. Eighteenth, Keith Stevens. Nineteenth, Connor Thunder. And twentieth, Evan Rudd. 21st is Richard Torres, 22nd Josh Barker, 23rd Eli Wright, 24th Jay Barker, 25th Steve Larker, 26th Kyle Metz, 27th Jason Larker, 28th Jay Jefferson, 29th Cam Nixie, and 30th Cole Nixie. 31st Derek Edison, 32nd Ralu Danu, how do you say his name? I can't say it. 33rd Max Anderson, 34th Luke Randy, 35th Carter Friesen. Friesen, I say. Uh, 36, Jonathan Reigns. 37, Joe Jefferson. 38, Jesse Turner. 39th, Aiden Shepard. And 40th, Ben Croach. 41st, Jack Legacy. Finally, he is not last anymore. So he gained a spot. And last in points now is Simon Fox. So that is your point standings after the 12th race of the season at Milwaukee Mile. We will next see you at the 13th race of the season at South Boston. The very first race in series history will be racing at South Boston. So if you want to keep in track with what's going on with the SCRL, you can check us out on our Facebook page and our Twitter. And until we see you at South Boston, remember, keep the hammer down and we'll see you at the track.